welcome to Steam Culture. We're wrapping up this journey we've been taking on steamships with the most iconic steamship probably ever, the Titanic. Now, the Titanic was famous for sinking in April 15th of 1912, but there's a whole lot more to the story. And I will tell you this, if you are Googling Titanic, you will not be disappointed with all the great information. So we've compiled as much as we can fit into our little segment, and I wanna share with you a little bit about what went on below deck, specifically in the boiler room. So let's dig in. Now, there was 29 boilers on the Titanic. 24 of them were for the ship's propulsion, and five of them were to generate electricity for the ship. Now, the boilers for propulsion were double-ended Scotch Marine boilers, which means that the fuel, the coal, was uh, fed into it from both sides. So those were segmented into six different boiler rooms along the ship. The single-ended boilers were for generating power. So in other words, they had furnaces only on one end of the boiler. Now, interesting that they were located below the water line in the belly of the ship, separated, uh, the boiler rooms were separated by these large coal hoppers, and they had to be separated because the fuel was fed into both ends of the boiler. So it was like boiler, coal hopper, boiler, coal hopper. So tons of coal loaded onto this ship, and off they go with a group of men called the Black Gang, who were in the belly of the ship, bases black covered with soot, which is where they got their name, and they fed those boilers day and night because it took about 12 hours from the time you put the first shovel of coal in them and lit them to get up to steaming pressure, which was 215 PSI. Now the boilers were, it's like 145,000 square feet of heating surface in total, generated about 260 pounds of steam per minute. So these things could put out the power and they needed it to turn these huge 24 foot diameter propellers that were at the rear of the ship. But let's talk about what happens now that we're, we're lit coal. You've got to get rid of all that exhaust. So interesting system. Individual um, breaching coming off of each boiler looks kind of like a spider legs come up to this common stack which goes out the ship. Now, you see in these pictures of the Titanic, there's four funnels as they were called in the day. We would call them a smokestack, but they were called a funnel. Now, Titanic trivia, the aft mounted funnel actually isn't a funnel for the boiler room. See, now why would they have four? Well, well in the day, the power ocean liner, this was the deal, and a big competition for this business. Well, the biggies of the day had four uh, funnels. The Titanic didn't need four, but they weren't about to build one with three because that would look like it had less power, which means less prestige. So they built it with four for balance and some aesthetics. But they went ahead and made it useful. So they created some separate venting for the rest of the ship. They also put a ladder on the inside so shipmates could climb up if they needed to see out because they weren't allowed um, you know, on the regular decking with the rest of the passengers. So some interesting trivia about that and, and pretty clever. I'm gonna cut it off right there because we have so much information. I wanna stop. We've, we've got so much to cover. Next week, I wanna tell you what they did with all that steam they made. The engines and the propellers, it's pretty interesting stuff. So I hope you stay tuned. Now, I don't want you to be bored in the meantime, so spend your time Googling us. Find us on social media, we're out there. We have great content. Join me next week, part two of the Titanic. I will see you then.